part of our topic which I would like to talk about is simple and serial dilution. In dilution, we have to learn the different terms that are being used. We have the term aliqua and diluent. Aliqua is a term used to refer to the portion of the original solution that is being dispensed to another container. And diluent is a term that refers to the volume of the solvent that is being used to dilute the aliqua. Here are the formulas that are being used in simple and serial dilution. First is the C1V1 is equal to C2V2. Second is the C2 is equal to 1 over dilution factor times the C1. Third is a formula for the dilution factor. And fourth and fifth formula are formulas for uniform serial dilution and non-uniform serial dilution. First, let's talk about simple dilution. Simple dilution is just one-time dilution. The main objective of dilution is to make the concentration lower. What is the reason behind that? The reason is that concentrated solutions tend to generate an error in the analytical readings, especially when using equipments in analyzing the concentration of analytes. For example, in spectroscopy, two concentrated solutions will not give a proper reading in a spectrophotometer. That's why there is a need for dilution. Simple dilution is basically transferring a certain amount of aliqua, for example, 1 ml of aliqua, and diluted with 9 ml of solvent. The original solution is called mother liquor and is designated the term C1. In this case, since we only dilute once, the concentration of the second solution is designated as C2. So in the formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2, C1 refers to the original concentration of the mother liquor or the original solution. For instance, we have 1 molar of sodium chloride. V1 refers to the volume of aliqua that is being used. C2 is the concentration of the new solution which is the diluted one and V2 is the total volume of the new solution total volume and not the volume of the diluent so in this context we we'll substitute the units You could substitute the values for C1, V1, and V2 since we already know these values. V1 is basically 1 ml. C2 is something that we do not know, so just leave it at C2. And V2 is basically 10 ml. So C2 then is 1 molar over 10 ml hence the new concentration of the diluted solution is then 0 0.100 molar the second one that we can use is that c2 is equal to 1 over df times C1. DF is basically deletion factor aliqua, volume of aliqua plus volume of diluent over volume of aliqua. It's basically 10 over 1. So C2 is basically 1 over 10 times C1 is 1 molar. 
So the final answer is 0 0.100 molar. The difference between simple and serial dilution is that serial dilution is performed many times. Suppose we have the same example given. So you have one molar sodium chloride and each time you add each time you take one ml of aliqua plus nine ml of diluent which is water in this case so one ml and nine ml one ml of aliqua and another nine ml of diluent this type of dilution serial dilution is called uniform serial dilution Uniform because the amount of the volume of aliqua and diluent that is being dispensed each time is uniform or the same. The formula that is being used in this uniform serial dilution is then Cn is equal to 1 over Df to the n minus 1. C1. So suppose C1 is the original, this one is C2, C3, and C4. Cn is the concentration at the dilution that we are interested in. For example, at the fourth, at the third dilution, which is C4, the dilution factor is basically 10. So n minus 1 is the number of dilutions that we have performed so it's basically 4 minus 1 so 3 the original concentration is 1 molar so we have a very small quantity here 1 times 10 to the negative 3 it's 1 molar so we have 1.00 times 10 to the negative 3 molar of sodium chloride. That is a very diluted concentration of solution. On the other hand, non-uniform serial dilution is, is having different amount of aliqua and diluent that is, that is being used each time. For example, in this context, first we dispense 1 ml of aliqua plus 9 ml of diluent the second dilution we dispense 2 ml of aliqua and 8 ml of diluent in the third dilution we dispense 3 ml of aliqua and 7 ml of diluent so this is called non-uniform serial dilution because the amount of aliqua and diluent is different each time we dilute How do we perform the calculation for this? The formula has been given previously. Cn is equal to 1 over df1 times 1 over df2, so on and so forth until we arrive to the last dilution and finally multiply it by the original concentration. So in this case, C1 is this one, C2, C3, C4. At the fourth solution, and after the third dilution, we have the original dilution factor is basically 1 over 10. The second one is 2 over 10. The third one is 3 over 10. And the original concentration is 1 molar. So by multiplying all these dilution factors, we could calculate the concentration of C4 concentration at the third dilution.